The God Tier AI agent, Deep Agent, just got a massive upgrade that allows you to turn data into interactive dashboards with just the click of a button. And I cannot believe this exists. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how it works, how to use this tool, and five insane use cases that you could use this for that are really gonna expand your mind for what this could actually do. Okay, so here's how this actually works. In order to get started, you are going to come into Abacus, you will click on Deep Agent right here, and then you need to upload some data. For example, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna click upload from computer, but by the way, you could connect this to a bunch of different apps if you just wanted it to grab data from somewhere else. But I'm gonna do upload from computer right here, I'm gonna click on YouTube data, and then what I'm gonna do is type in a prompt like this where I want this to analyze the latest YouTube channel analytics that I have provided and build a rich interactive data visualization dashboard that summarizes key performance trends, revenue drivers, content strategies, and I wanted to extract a bunch of different things here and then I wanted to use NLP to analyze the video titles, descriptions, and comments and I wanted to compare different trend lines across different formats, traffic sources, and a bunch of different things. So I'm going to give it all of this data right here. I am going to click right here and then this is going to fire up different MCP servers and do everything that it needs to do in order to actually get this to happen. And in true deep agent fashion, it's probably going to ask me a few questions. I'm going to answer them and then it's going to kick off actually building out those interactive dashboards. And by the way, here's what the data actually looks like that I have uploaded here. You could see that this is literally going to be hundreds of rows. We're about a dozen things across right here. So this isn't a little bit of data like what some other platforms would be able to handle. And most of them would actually break if you uploaded this much data. So if we come back over here, we will see that it did come through and ask us questions. So dashboard purpose, is this for your own YouTube channel? Or are you planning to send it to somebody? I'm gonna say, it's for my own YouTube channel. Time period focus, I want you to focus on the time period I put in the sheet. Key priorities, which metrics are most critical? I am looking for content performance, in terms of views and revenue. Interactivity level, do you need the ability to filter by specific dates? I'm gonna say I, would love to be able to filter by date slash interact with this. And then additional features. Do you want it to include predictive insights, recommendations? I'm gonna say, please include all of the additional features. Now, I'm going to fix my spelling right here, but we're going to just say this to this, and now this is going to go through, and this is actually going to build us out, this interactive dashboard, which is going to be crazy. Okay, so now that this is actually done, we have YouTube analytics analysis complete right here, and we could go through and look at this analysis. In addition to that, though, if we come down here, you'll be able to see that a web app was made, and it's ready to preview, which we can see right here, or we could go ahead and deploy this if we wanted to actually deploy this. Now we could come over here and see a bunch of different things. And this is pretty crazy. It literally shows total revenue, shows total views, shows the average click-through rate, how many videos, how many views per video on average. So as we could see, my other channel averages over 100,000 views every single video that I upload. We could see the watch time that it gets. We see the total views. We could see a breakdown in views between shorts and long form. And this is just the executive summary. We could also come in here and click on content performance performance and see how the different content performs. And we could filter this by different things like last 90 days if we wanted to, or last six months. And this is actually interactive. And then if we come down here, we could see different revenue analytics. For example, I make around $543 for every YouTube video that I upload on my other channel, which is Quite insane because I upload on that channel every single day and that doesn't take into consideration ad revenue, which is pretty crazy. If we come over to audience insights, we'll be able to get a bunch of different audience insights and different trends right here. We'll be able to get a bunch of different title and keyword analysis, which is pretty crazy, like the current average length or the optimal title length based on my best performing videos and it actually shows me it's based on views. I gotta be honest with you. I am way more impressed with this than I thought I was gonna be before I actually went to make this video. I cannot believe the type of analysis that this is doing right here on my YouTube channel. And it goes through and predicts the future and gives me different growth opportunities here, which are 
spot on. Now before I show you some of the crazy things that other people have built with this and really expand your mind on the use cases here, I need you to go to the pin comment below and get started with Deep Agent today because not only can it do this type of complex analysis, you could also use Deep Agent to build apps, to build websites, it can even create viral videos for you and once you sign up for Deep Agent, you're also going to get access to so many other of Abacus's tools. For example, Chat LLM that allows you to access every single LLM from one chat or their AI engineer that allows you to create chatbots or AI agents with just the click of a button. So what are you waiting for? If you want all those features and so much more, go to the pinned comment below and get started with Deep Agent today. Now, the first use case that I wanted to show off here is actually uploading an annual report and then giving it something like this. Analyze the latest annual report PDF of HUL, which by the way, you could upload PDFs, you could upload a CSV, you could upload data in whatever type of format that you have, actually have it. Make a rich interactive data visualization dashboard, summarizing key financial trends, segment-wise performance, strategic insights, extract financial metrics like EBITDA, PAT, EPS, profit margin, and a bunch of other things. Now, Again, you just give it this information right here. It's going to ask you a few questions and then what it actually gives you is incredible. By the way, this is what it actually looks like when it's going through and it's actually creating this. And then we could see that this is actually giving us an answer here. And it gave us this dashboard right here, which we can click on and go through and see all of these different things that it created. It created graphs, it created segment analysis, it did a bunch of different financial ratios, it did strategic insights, risk and outlook, and this right here is incredibly comprehensive. And again, all you had to give it in order for it to do this was a prompt, a PDF, and an answer to a few different questions, and it literally went through and did like a week's worth of a data analysis actually going through and doing this. And the use cases don't stop there because you could upload something like this, which is a bunch of different user data that has behavioral context, demographic context, and a bunch of other different contexts. And this will actually go through and figure out and do an analysis on why your users are actually churning. And this is pretty crazy and incredibly useful if you run a SaaS company or any type of subscription service software or work for or own a business that has any type of subscription component to it. So per usual, this is going to go through, actually create this, and then it will build this that we will be able to look at and we'll be able to see that it created an executive summary, churn analysis, different risk assessments, and you could see that this is interactive. You can change it by country and so many other different things. They have statistical insights and different actionable insights that need to be taken to improve this business and who it should target, the expected impact, implementation steps, and the estimated ROI, and even key metrics to track. This is crazy. This is, again, literally a full team's job. Somebody would be doing the data analysis, and then somebody would be getting those different actionable insights, putting them together, and then pitching them to the owner of this business or whoever was in charge of this. But again, this is literally all done now just with Deep Agent. And it actually takes things one step further. It doesn't just have to be data analysis. You could also give it a sheet with a bunch of different product names and it can go through and actually list out where these products should be put. Let's say that you were going to be starting an e-commerce business and you had a bunch of different products and you wanted to know where to actually place each of them if you were going to categorize them. This can go through and do that too. And then if we look at the final result here, you'll see that this gave us an overview, category analysis, product explorer, and quality analysis. We could go through and see all the different things that this actually created. And again, this just makes this way more dynamic, way more interactive, and it allows us to have a way better way to make informed decisions. And again, this was done with product analysis, not necessarily an existing business. This is for a use case for a business that might be put out there. Now, the final use case that I wanted to show you here was this one right here where it says you are a marine geospatial analysis agent. I want you to analyze all these different scans, all these different surveys, all these different things, and then it doesn't actually provide it with any data set. Instead, it gives us the websites where those data sets actually exist, and this goes through, looks at them, and then creates a bunch of different interactive dashboards and 3D charts based off of this. 
check this out. So this is what we're actually going to end up getting. We are going to be able to click on this right here, and then we are going to see this marine geospatial analysis. We could see that there's an overview, there's a 3D seabed map, there's an algorithm analysis, there's sonar overlays, and there's detection data. And this right here really shows off the power of deep aging because again, it's not just financial analysis. It's not just YouTube analysis. This can truly build out some charts and 3D analysis that are insane. Like look at this, when I go under 3D seabed map, we can interact with this and it builds out this 3D map with different confidence ranges, different depth ranges, and this is really crazy. And again, we didn't actually provide it with any data for it to be able to do this. It did this with public data that already exists and we just told it what website to go get that at. Now, if you like this video, you're gonna love this video right here where I walk you through how to make viral videos with DeepAgent that you can then post on social media and get paid for creating. I'll see you over there.